Hi, welcome back. In the last part we left when we had our editor set up and we could, well, use it, we could write in bold, create lists and so on, but one very interesting part is missing, the image upload. Now, this is something which is very complex and I'll be honest, we won't write all the logic, the back end logic here on our own. Though I will rule out that I will make some videos about file management, creating your own file manager in the future. But right now what I will use is this Laravel file manager by Unisharp and you will find a link to this GitHub repository in the description, which is a great file manager and the best thing is it is, well, kind of configured to work great with TinyMCE and CK Editor. And it is really easy to set up and to get going. And yeah, as you can already see in the screenshot here, it not only allows, allows you to pick a file and upload it, it allows you to manage all the files on your Laravel application or in your Laravel application on your disks you have there. So really great thing. And as I said, might definitely be interesting to create something like this in future videos. But as this is a very complex project, um, I really only want to focus on getting this going in TinyMCE so that you can get started right away. Because that really is an important part of programming too. Knowing how to use third party packages and saving time by using them. There is nothing bad about that. So first thing is we need to install it and we can follow the installation um, document here. It's really easy. First thing is, I'll, well, I will just basically copy all these lines here. I'll go to my command line here and I will require it via Composer. This will take a couple of seconds and will then add it to our project and install it. I'll be back once it's done. Cool, so my installation just finished. And now this was the first step. The next step, as described here, is to take these service providers here and add them in our application in the config directory in the app.php file here at the bottom. This will actually register them in our Angular, in our Angular, in our Laravel application. Without these lines here, yes, we have installed it, but Laravel would not use it and would not know how to use it because this kind of is the interface written by the creators of this third party package and you need to do this for every third party package you might produce to tell Laravel how to use it, how to use this package. So this is, these are the service providers. Next thing is if I say it here, I'm going to import and then I will need to run these two commands here to actually publish the own configuration file this third party package ships with. And if we now have a look in our config folder, we see this new file, this lfm.php. This was just added by this publish command, which allows third party packages to copy files into your main application because you might need to access them there. And we do need to access this configuration file, which configures our file manager. The first thing what I will do is I will disable the renaming of files because this would require a user ID and I won't, don't want to restrict this to only locked in users. Now this is all fine here but here we need to change off to web because well authentication is not really something we want to enforce but the web middleware is important for this to work correctly. I also won't align, allow multi-user access here and well, the rest should be fine as it ships with. And as you can see, you can configure which types of files you want to be able to handle. And you can see this is much more than just some images here. Um, where to store them on your, in your application, also very important. And yeah, and so on. So this is the basic configuration. This is how we need to have it set up. And now coming back to this welcome.play.php file here. I said that this part here is related to the file manager and it is. And what does it do? Well, it basically defines the dimensions of our window here and then 
just defines basically which which layout to load or yeah how to load this file manager. So this is important for this third party package. However, file browser callback is a configuration provided by TinyMCE and if we were to write our own file browser, we needed to implement this function and tell TinyMCE what you do whenever the user clicks this file manager button, which basically is the button next to the I want to upload an image thing. So this is very important and this is the configuration as we need it for this file manager we're using here, the Laravel file manager to work correctly. It only works for this file manager, that's very important. This has to be hand tailored to whichever file manager you use. And you can see the setup here in the integration part where basically it is described how you can integrate it with TinyMC and this is pretty much the same code you'll see here. I just copied it from there. And it also describes how to use it with CK editor or independent of any, well, what you see is what you get editor because in the end it's a file manager. You might use it in whichever way you want. It doesn't have to be limited to a rich editor. You might just have a normal button which should trigger file upload. So this is how you use it. And here is more information about how to configure it. And lastly, how to customize it, of course. Now, with all this, is there anything else we have to do? No. Let's reload. And now let's click this Insert Added Image button here. Now here we could enter some URL, but we can also click this File Manager button I was talking about, which will trigger this File Browser Callback function here. And which will open up our file manager. As you can see, I already uploaded one file, but I will upload a new one here. Let's click this button and let's say, well, I'll just upload this image here. So now I got my images here and I can easily even resize and, and crop them. And you can see my awesome Amazon uh, purchases here. And yeah. So really a uh, great functionality this editor has built in. This is the reason why we're using it. This would be a whole lot of work to create your own. And as you can see, you can really uh, do a lot here. You can create new folders and so on. So it is a fully fledged file manager, not limited to image upload, but of course it does offer this and it does offer resizing and cropping and so on. Now, back into this folder. I can then select this image here, okay. Now you can see it is edited here. I can click submit and I got it on the next page too. Obviously not styled, this would have to be done by you, but this is how it works and how you can integrate tiny MCE and a file manager to manage what well, files and uploads in your Laravel application. Lastly, let's have a look where these files are saved at. And as you can see, I got this photos folder here where, is, where it is saved. Well, this is done in this place because in my configuration file for the file manager, I specified that public photos should be the place where images are saved. And of course, I could use other places here too. Now, I hope this helps you and yeah, I hope this helps you get going with your applications and integrate such editors there. See you in the next videos. Bye.